It's the lunch rush at Corbin Q's Barbecue and Brew House in the college area. Corbin O'Reilly has been making barbecue in San Diego for six years. First in catering, then two years ago, he opened up this restaurant. He grew his business from a staff of three to 15. This Wednesday, O'Reilly will have to pay his minimum wage employees $1 an hour more. It really uh, impacts like our, our bottom line. We have so much like overhead built in around the restaurant. Um, and uh, just any little thing, you know, this adds on, especially if, if uh, you're working a longer event, a cater event, and, and you know, overtime kicks in as well. Um, so these types of things just kind of way down the business. The statewide law increases the minimum wage rate for businesses with fewer than 25 workers to $12 an hour. Bigger businesses will see the rate increase to $13 an hour. It's part of an effort to raise the minimum wage in California to $15 an hour by 2023. O'Reilly says the only way to offset the increased labor costs is to charge customers more. We hate to raise the prices on things, uh, but yeah, it's usually how it comes back so we can keep affording our, our bottom line. <laughs> Ponce's Mexican restaurant has two locations in San Diego and employs 57 people. Many of them will see their wages increase Wednesday, too. It's going to mean that our employees who make minimum wage get an extra dollar an hour, which is nice because the cost of living in San Diego is really, really high. Uh, a lot of folks who work for minimum wage cannot afford to live near where they work. And unfortunately, that includes where I run my restaurants. Director of Operations Mikey Nabb says he might have to increase food prices too, but he says that's part of doing business. So that's called commerce. Um, you raise your prices. That's what happens. All, all of our costs go up over time. That's inflation. So the fuel costs go up. That means all my delivery truck drivers are going to ask for more in their delivery fees. All our costs continue to rise. The answer cannot be to pay our employees less. Both businesses say they will keep making adjustments so they can succeed in the new year. Priya Shridhar, KPBS News.